Make sure you check out my sponsors listed above. There's going to be some new sponsors coming up here on this banner here real soon. Be sure to give these guys a like and a follow on Facebook and Instagram. They're amazing people for the sportsmen. Hi everybody, welcome back to Spars Outdoors and this is your fishing report for the week. We're going to cover a little bit on Lake St. Clair, not too much. You guys know the smallmouth and muskie action is going great right now and there's still perch out in that channel. If you know your spots, go to them. There's actually perch in quite a few places. Uh, you can catch perch offshore along the basin and stuff in there too right now, along with smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, stuff like that. We're not going to focus too much on Lake St. Clair, let's just move right down right into the Algonac area. Those walleyes are still held up around that island, but they are, that, that push did come down through the St. Clair River. We're starting to see a lot more nicer fish now. Those 18, I, I called it last week, those 18 to 20 inch fish uh, starting to show back up. Let's talk water temperatures here. It's kind of crazy. So out in Lake Huron, at the mouth of Lake Huron is 69.9. That is warm. A lot of those fish are coming back out of the lake into the river. On the Canadian side, the water temperature is 62.9, and that's, you know, at the first four foot of the surface temp, you know. So, on the American side, it's a degree warmer on the American side. So, there's colder water in the river. With that being said, you guys, you know, whipping's going to pick back up. It ain't going to be, you're not going to have that, you know, end of April, May and June whipping right now you're just not going to have that but you will have your good nights you'll have to work for your fish you'll actually have to work for your fish and this is where this is where i always say this is when walleye fishing is actually fishing people think they're walleye fishermen for that hot bite they really think they're great and they're anybody can go out and catch walleye during that period of time right right now is when the actual walleye fishermen are still getting good numbers still getting limit catches and still after those walleyes there's a difference in fishing june and july than there is late july into august absolutely that separates the two different two different ball games of fishermen so anyways lots of walleyes to be caught if you know what you're doing low to the bottom is where you're going to catch those walleyes now 18 inches you know on crawler high in the water column as the night goes on is those minnows lots of minnows and still some smelt running through the system walleyes are feeding on those minnows up top uh so you know you just got to know where to fish, how to fish, and when to fish it. So my advice to you guys would be, if you're going to go whipping, find the holes that produce fish early in the season, but watch the shoreline for bait fish jumping. If you Watch your graph for bait fish showing up in clouds of bait fish. You got to have bait fish. Lots of weeds have grown, so you got to you know whip outside those weeds, or, or you're not going to catch no fish, right? Because your, your plugs will be in those weeds. So move out a little bit deeper. If you were fishing in 17 and you know that's a good hole, move out to 21 foot. You'll catch some fish. You know, work around. You might have to pull anchor a few times. Drop in. Just watch your graph. Watch for bait fish jumping. You will find fish. Canadian side jigging, long lining, rapalas, you name it. Uh, pulling crawler harnesses, great fishing. Now let's just move right out to Lake Huron because people say Lake Huron's dead. It's not. We went out hand lining the other night. We had a fun time. So, uh, pulling crawler harnesses, we've seen some boats really doing well pulling crawler harnesses right there in the channel. So, lots of fish in the lake to catch. Yes, there's a lot of throwback fish, but the bigger fish are starting to show back up and expect that lake to pick back up as well. So, walleye fishing still good right from shore and out in the boat. Uh, you just gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go to know. So, shore fishing, you know, the jigging, the crawlers are doing the best. I called it last week. Crawlers are doing the best. Absolutely. Everybody that's still fishing with the still rods two-pound sinkers, you know. They're catching a lot of walleyes using crawlers. We did that last night. We did very well. Uh, I also jigged last night, did very well jigging. I, we've been getting them cast in twisters. There's still a lot of walleyes to catch. People think they're done. They're not. There's still going to be a really good push. We're still going to... A lot of these fish are going to be moving back and forth. They're, they're chasing that water temperature, okay? As that lake starts to cool down, then walleyes are going to go back out there. The lake still has not been on fire like it should be and, 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 and expect that to pick up. Now, let's head a little bit farther north up into the lake patrolling, okay? Lexington, Port Sanilac, Carver Beach. I'm just going to go with, you know, all three like I always do. You know, deeper water is going to be your better bet right now. The water is so warm, so that 70 to 100 foot is where I'd target. 
lot of people are saying they're going out to 150 foot and they're doing well and they are target 60 to 100 foot you know start off in 50 like i always say throw your way out you find where those fish are and you pick away at those fish where they're at you you know or just run right out there to 150 and try it and work your way back in either way you're gonna work you're gonna work that water column if you don't catch fish at 130 foot 140 foot you're gonna go out to 180 foot or you're gonna come into 70 foot no matter what so why not start off shallow and work your way out myself i start off real shallow because i like catching some walleyes mixed in there's some really nice walleye mixed bags coming in with those fish so i'll start off in 40 foot early in the morning and work my way out uh even stroll right along the the harbor miles and such like that you know but there's some good atlantis good steelhead few kings still around people are still catching some kings not big numbers but they're getting some kings which is a good sign um you know we got atlantics out there the cohos the steelhead the the kings lake trout walleyes you name it it's out there go troll and have some fun i'm making a video doing that again here pretty soon i just have not had the drive to get up there and go do it because i'm, I'm fishing right in my backyard we're doing some pond fish and i'm doing some other things right now you know i'm having fun with the family fishing so and we always do we have fun trolling too we're going to be going over to the west side and trolling for big kings that's going to be another great great time but uh trolling lake here is good right now get out there you know find that scum line find we had a hard hard rains you know them hard rains so there's a hell of a mud line out there all them creeks are pushing that water out and there's a nice mud line and it's out there quite a ways i i and a lot of people are blown right by it i definitely hit those mud lines trying for those fish too because they're going to be in there chasing those bait fish i promise you that now let's talk a little bit about perch fishing perch fishing along the whole st Clair river if you got spots you know marysville boat launch uh down by the old train ferry um, pine river mouth black river mouth all through that whole atchison's area lots of perch are going on there is a lot of perch in the river and a lot of perch in the lake this has been one of the better years i've seen for perch in a long time they're getting good numbers and big size uh lake port state park all the way up to port san lake if you go out of lecton go north get in that 18 foot of water and find some weed beds i guarantee you're going to catch some fish i promise you that so the perch fishing is good if you know your spots go to them if you don't just cruise along till you find yourself a weed bed set up on it and see if there's some perch on it and you'll have some success catching perch absolutely um i i don't have anything much for you for farther north than harbor beach but it's a great fishery black river is high and flowing hard right now but when that goes down the bass fishing is still good the pike fishing is still good uh, you name it it's good black river is full of fish ponds are lighting up the bass are just going phenomenal i got a video coming out tomorrow all the ponds we went to bass are just on fire they're smashing they're hitting everything you throw at them big bluegills it's a fun time right now is you know it's it's a fun time to go pond fishing go fishing in black river go trolling out in the lake go go spend some time down there at the boardwalk with your family set up the river rods or whatever you're gonna do and just sit in your chairs and hang out and, and bull crap with friends and if you get fish you get fish if you don't you don't you're gonna have your nights where you get nothing you're gonna have your nights where you do good but if you want to catch fish from shore Crawler fishing is definitely going to be your best bet and run a small micro challengers. Absolutely. Run those low too. Chest high or lower. So uh, that's about all I have for you for the fishing report for the week. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you keep sharing and following my channel. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway tomorrow actually. Uh, Thursdays are my giveaway days, but I'm going to do something for Sunday. Um, I haven't figured it out yet, so we'll, we will figure it out. It's going to be like a midday Sunday thing. Uh, I'll think of the name of it, you know, um, John Latham actually gave me an idea and I think I'm going to go with it. Great time to spend with your family right now. Absolutely. You got great weather. The bugs are starting to die down. Fishing's pretty good. You ain't going to go out there and have a boring time, even if you catch no fish because you got friends and family with you. So thanks everybody again for watching Sparse Outdoors and I'll see you next time. Thanks everybody for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications when I post new videos and when I go live for my giveaways. I want to thank everybody so much for always supporting this channel. Be sure to share this video and get my name out there guys. Thank you all.